Today's daf is daf Lamaches. We are going to begin Lamaches of an Aleph Tanya Tanya Idach. Tanya Idach was taught in another brisa. Pasuk says of an Eidusra Ochlu as a monar ban Mishana. The Eidin ate the mona for forty years. Shechar ban Mishana Ochlu. Did they really eat the mona for forty years? While they are ban Mishana Chosr Shleishim Yim Ochlu, but they only ate the mona for forty years, less than thirty days. The mona began to fall on the sixteenth of the year in the first year in the midbar. They stopped eating it on the 16th of Nisan in the 40th year, so it wasn't a complete 40th year. Rather, the Torah wants to tell you, the cakes that they took out of Mitzrayim, had a taste of mon. And this sustained them until the mon actually fell. passed away on Zion Adar, and he was born on Shiva on the seventh of other. And I should be Shiva Vadan may swear to you know that he passed him on the seventh of other Shinamar that it says the Yamasha Mesha Eva Dashem, Amesha, the servant of Hashem, passed away. Uksiv and the Pasik says, My Yifku Mani Sos Mesha Barvis Mayev Shimbi. And it says and the children of Israel uh, wept for Mesha and Arvis Mayev for thirty days. Uksiv, my he achri mes mesha evadashem. That it says, and it came to pass after the death of Mesha, the servant of Hashem. Uksiv, Mesha Avdi, Mesh Atakum Baver. Mesha, my servant, is dead, now arise, cross the yard. Uksiv, and the Pasuk says, Ibru Bekarav Machavitza was only Rakhil Lachem, say the Kibesh, Shisham Tavas the Arden, passed through the midst of the camp and commanded the Eden, saying, Prepare, prepare to, uh, in three days to cross the Arden. Uksiv, and the next passage says, Ram, although Minai Yarden messed up the Chedish tradition. And the people came out of the Yarden on the tenth day of the first of the month. Say, Man, Shleshim, Shleshim, Yem, the Mafreir. So subtract retroactively from the date. From the tenth of Nisan, the last thirty three days. In other words, the thirty days of uh, that they were mourning for Maisha, and the three days of preparation before crossing to the Yarden, Halavadadadad, this teaches us to be Shiva Badr and Mace Maisha. Mesha passed away on the seventh of other. Brisa goes on. When I should be Shiva Bada Nel Mesha, where did Allah Mesha was born? On Shiva Bada on the seventh of other. And I'm rather about success. They rather am Ben Meavas from Shalanecha. I am the Holy Glotzis for love. Mesha says, and he said to them, I am 120 years old today. I can no more go and come in. Now, Shane Tom Limber, I gave it's not needed to say today. This is Mesha could have simply said, I'm 100 years old. Why do you have to say today? So, Malame, the teachers of Shakatash Borok, we issue Mamalish, the same shall Sadiki Mim Liam, Mechilish, the Chiddish. It teaches us that Hashem sits and completes the years of the Tzadikim from day to day, from mouth to mouth, from month to month. Shem, as it says, it's Mishmer Yemecha Mali, the number of your days will fill. I know it's not a bright, it's a Rishim and Yecha Emer. Shemim Yechai says, "Shalish mitzvahs nistabi still bikni sus on the hearts." Three mitzvahs, the Eden were commanded upon entering Eretz Yisrael. But they had these ben ba'aris ben mechutz laaretz, and uh, in other words, these the mitzvahs that we spoke about, chadash, arlo, uh, they all apply in Eretz Yisrael and in chutz laaretz. Well, I think she and Abu, and it's logical. One can learn through a Kavach that each of these mitzvahs should apply everywhere. It's not a Yisr which is a permanent Yisr. It's not applied to grain that grows after the Yisr has been, uh, after the Korban Yisr and the Yisr is brought. There's no Yisr, so it's not a Yisr And there's also no Yisr in deriving from it, the benefit from it. Like you could use it other than eating. And there's also a heter for the Isra. Because grain that grew before the Tazayan Isra becomes permitted after the Emir is brought. And the Din is. And applies both in Eretz and outside of Eretz So the same Allah should certainly apply to uh, Kilayim. Now, Kilayim, with regards to Kilayim, she said she said in Israel. This is forever. This is forever. No, you can't have enough of it. In Hetel Yisrael, there's no Hetel for the Yisrael. Anything she now go in bars, but in Chutz Laaretz. 
So for sure it applies to to the Khosaris and uh outside in the Nerit Yisrael. Now well what the in the Arla Bashtaim and the same is true with Arla with regards to two of these points. Arla is not an Isr um Ailam, as it applies only for the first three years. But you're not allowed to have enough from it. And produce from the first three years never becomes permitted. Lazar of Shimon Amar, he says any to that the Jewish people were commanded to perform before entering Eretz Yisrael. In other words, it was not linked to entry into Eretz Yisrael. It applies both to Eretz Yisrael and outside Eretz Yisrael. After they entered Eretz Yisrael, it's only in Eretz Yisrael. Except for the being mashed with money when it comes to Shemitah year, to, to uh, cancel all debts and free the slaves in Yevon, that Shafa Bishet Stavu, Alei Anachat Nezos and Laaretz, even though the Eden were commanded with regards to these mitzvahs, that they were to perform them only after the end of the Eretz Yisrael, the Hegis Ben Moaz Baruchatz Aretz. They apply both in Eretz Yisrael and out to Eretz Yisrael. From where I ask, Shemot Zuxav and Mechavaz Gufi. This, that to uh, cancel out the debts in Yevil is an obligation of the body. Since the mitzvah is not referring to the land, what is the chiddush of the salafah that applies even as it is So the more answer is, this is the only, that was the Tana said. The, the Bryce says, the Tanya, the Bryce says, the Rebbe, the says, Zed, Rav Shemitah, Shemit, the Tanya says, and this is the matter of the Ashmat Tzuxofim. The Shemitah is a cause of Adab, the Tanya is speaking about two Shemitah Tzuxofim. Which is Ahashbitis Karka, one the land, Bahashbit Suksaf and one of money. Now, the Bashat Mashamit Karka, when you release land, so then Atamashamit Ksafim then it works with the Shmatas Ksafim. However, as one Shiyatim Shamit Karka, the time when you do not release land, like now, when the Yeah will no longer practice, Yatam Shamit Ksafim, we do not also Mashbu Ksafim. So my ask to the Aimba but why don't we say it, that you can say the following Kavachemer? Bemakshat the Mashamit or the Karka, the place where you release land, in other words, Art Yisrael, at the Mashamit Ksafim, then you could release the, the, then you, the money. So the Chemer, the Ashmat Ksafim, should only apply in Art Yisrael, despite the fact that the obligation is not related to the land. But Bemakshat the ain't at the Mashamit Karka, then ain't at the Mashamit Ksafim, in a place where there's no. Ashvatas Karka, there's no Ashvatas Ksafim. I'm a laborer, that's what the Tere says. Kikara Shmita la Hashem, because Hashem has been proclaimed. Kikara Shmita la Hashem, the Shmita is the Hashem is called. We call Makim. In any case, even outside of our Eretz show, is the Chidish of Rabbi Lazar. Now, the more questions the need for the second Allah of Rabbi Lazar, B'nai Shalab Shivan. Shidor Havadim Chavis Agufi. The the shidduch of Adam is an obligation of the body, not to the land. So what's the chiddush? The more answer is so that the Chaminayel Ksiv across and b'dinei bars. Since the Torah says and proclaim liberty throughout the land, so that I would say bars in brachos are slayed. How will I be able to do it? Which means we come back it. In kei matam lemi bars. So why does it say through the land? Or it says man shat dere nei bars nei brachos are When this Liberty outside of its soul applies the uh, inner soul that applies outside of its soul in the day bars. But if it does not apply in its soul, I name because that is so the mystery depends on whether the evil is in effect not in the place, not on the place in question. Now, how some learned the mission in there? The new crops is forbidden in Atera everywhere. Orla Allah, Orla is forbidden outside of its soul according to Allah, the world show what that means. Akilayim b'dibe sefer min kamayim is b'dibe abanim. Frankly, what am I Allah? What does it mean Allah? I'm Rabbi Damon Shmuel Allah has some medina. The local Allah. This is the practice of even places where they settled. Our vehicle and Allah Hamishim Mishine means it's Allah Hamishim Mishine. Over the little of Huna, so he says the 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 Mishne Mladigli according to me, my opinion, I mean Allah Hamishim Mishine that I say Allah Hamishim Mishine. Had the Shalom being Sufik or the Sufik Kalayim. This is the reason why we distinguish between the fruits whose status is Arla, which is a suffix, which has been outside of Eretz Yisrael, according to the Allah, Allah, and produce whose status is Kilayim, 
which permitted outside of Eretz as the Isra of Kilayim applies to outside of Eretz Yisrael only by Mizra Rabbanan. Now we live in a Mishnah, Suffolk Arlo, fruits of status is a Suffolk Arlo, Bar is Aser, Eretz Yisrael is Aser, but Surya is Mutter. Chosar is Yeriz Vilekech. Outside of Eretz Yisrael, you may go down to the Goyish field and purchase fruit that is Arlo from the Goyu. However, Vavach, Shal Yed, and the Lake, it provides that the Git does not see him gathered. Either Gabi Kalayim, in regards to Kalayim, Tanan, what is the Mishnah saying? Kerem Atu Yarek, if a vineyard has vegetables planted in it, Yarek Nimkar Chutzalei, and there are vegetables being sold outside the vineyard, but there's no proof that these vegetables came from the vineyard. So, in our Oretz is also Mishri is Mutter. But Chutzalei, that's outside of it, Yishol Yerid Velekit, if a guy owner of a field containing kilayim kind of goes down into the field and gathers produce and he's like it well actually it will be out provided that he does not gather with his hands um, he may purchase the produce from the guy what do we see from here that outside of Israel there's a difference between Arla of a subject and kilayim of a subject this is understandable if Arla is a forbidden by Allah while kilayim is forbidden by the Rabbanon but according to your opinion, that neither Erla nor Kilayim are forbidden in the Nisni, let the Mishnah say, just say either both of these cases, um, that one may go down and purchase the produce, or both of these cases, in that case, you may go down and gather the produce. So my answer is, then the Shmuel say to the Manan, to me, oh, he's a Teach that. Now, Mar Bere de Ravina Masti Lila Kulo. Mar Bravashu bit of the Ravna taught this. The Kulo. Zavazayel the Kel, watch the Yakub. Beyond. In both cases, when we go down and gather the produce, provided he's not gathered with his own hands.